What up, boys and girls? What up, world? It's DJ Toro from New York City, and you're checking out my boy, the bro, Austin John Place. He's all right. He's, he's, some, he's okay. Austin John Place here, and today I wanted to go over every single efficient way currently in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild to farm arrows. Now, this is going to be spanning a couple of different methods throughout a whole bunch of different arrows, including things that require the Trial of the Sword glitch and many various alternatives of non-Trial of the Sword glitch. That way, like, if you watch this in the future, it's still a viable video, so we're good. I'm also going to be including a method that you can do to get 999 arrows, fire arrows, ice arrows, shock arrows, and bomb arrows within 26 minutes. 26 minutes! Remember the first arrow farming that you were in the field and you panned the camera up? That took 45 minutes to get 999. We're going to be cutting that time in half and getting all of the elemental arrows at the same time. In addition, you're also going to have plenty of stuff to go get ancient arrows, but pff, those are so OP, we're not even going to talk about those. So first, I'm going to be going over all of your authentic ways to get arrows that do not involve the Trial of the Sword glitch. Then I'm going to be going over Trial of the Sword glitch. Then I'm going to be going over the way to get full maximum arrows in under 26 minutes. <sighs> 26 minutes. So stick around to the end. For every one of these methods, I'm going to be including the time to do this actual procedure, how long it's going to take for you to have maximum arrows, and if it's going to require a glitch or no glitch. The first one we're going to do is located just east of Eventide Island at the Korgu Chida Shrine. I'm sure everyone is super familiar with this one. You fly out to this little circle island over here, and then you just pull the chest out of the water, open it up, and you get 10 arrows. Now, you can either set down the travel medallion and re-warp to your current location, or save the game and reload the game. You do not need the Trial of the Sword glitch for this to work. With perfect timing, doing the entire thing should take about 36 seconds, which means that you need exactly one hour for a full 999 arrows. Next, what we're going to be doing is for bomb arrows, and it's located just north of Skull Lake. That's where you first found Kilton. Head over just north and make your way to my position that you see on the map right here, which is pretty much right next to the one tree in this north overlooking area of Skull Lake. We're going to be relying on the rain to make bomb arrows not blow up when they're fired at you. And you're going to need this little overhang of rock right here to make a campfire. That way you can come back and sleep so that the bombs refresh. What you're going to do is head on north from this location, get the attention of all of the bull goblins over here, and then you're going to run back and forth and have them fire their bomb arrows at you. And as I mentioned, because it's raining, it's not going to be exploding. You can get somewhere between 12 to 20 bomb arrows, so I'm going to round it for 15. As of right now, this is the most effective way for free to farm bomb arrows. Getting about 15 bomb arrows takes a total of about 92 seconds. So if you went for full 999, you'd be spending 127 minutes and no glitches are required for this to activate. Once they're firing the arrows and nothing else is actually landing on the floor, they're just disappearing, head on back over, rest again until it's raining again, and then repeat the process. Inarguably, the most respectful way to get your hands on elemental arrows is to hunt down silver lionels. Killing a silver lionel could drop between 0 and 30 elemental arrows at a time, although having 0 is somewhat rare, so I'm going to round it to about 20 arrows. This is a pretty resource heavy procedure because unless you're really great at dodging and taking out lionels in general, it's going to take about three minutes, a couple of hearts, maybe some fairies, and of course no glitch is required for this, and you're going to get a whole bunch of great items when the lionel is defeated, so overall it's a great idea. The silver lionels in the snow areas more likely drop ice arrows, silver lionels in your more tropical regions are more likely to drop shock arrows. There are some lionels that can drop fire and bomb arrows, but mm, there's not a lot of them. Next, a great place for a quick stock up on shock arrows is going to be Polymus Mountain. Now you know exactly where this is. It's part of the Zora quest line. Once you make your way up here, especially if you have Majora's Mask or the Lionel Mask equipped, you can get a total of about 20 shock arrows. It only takes about a minute and a half. However, these do not respawn. You have to wait for a Blood Moon for them to respawn. And they don't even respawn using the Trial of the Sword glitch. So it's a quick 20 arrows. You're not going to get anything too fantastic. And it's not that effective of a farming method. 
Now we're gonna be getting into glitches that require the trial of the sword glitch. I'm not gonna be going over it too specifically. There's a card in the top right corner if you're not familiar with the trial of the sword glitch, which do keep in mind can be done on a profile that has all the divine beasts completed. On the Great Plateau, just outside of the trial in which you get Magnesis, there's a small pond that has a large metal, uh, piece of metal, piece of metal there. And what you need to do is take that piece of metal, make your way on over to this bog area, and there's gonna be two chests. Place your travel medallion in between them, open them up, you're gonna get five fire arrows and five ice arrows. To respawn and open both of these chests takes approximately 46 seconds. So if you wanted to max out both fire and ice, you'd be looking at spending 153 minutes. It's not a very effective procedure. However, in a pinch, it's a great place to get a few on the way. With the Trial of the Sword glitch, there's a whole bunch of chests that, for whatever reason, don't respawn. And I haven't found any that respawn a bundle of ancient arrows too efficiently. However, one solid place you can go to is at Hyrule Castle at the second gatehouse. Here, once you defeat a Lionel, a box of three ancient arrows appears. Now, keep in mind, you just shoot the Lionel with an ancient arrow, he disappears, get the ancient arrows, use the travel medallion, then you have to leave Hyrule Castle, and then teleport back into Hyrule Castle in order to defeat him again. With the cost of spending one Ancient Arrow, you're going to be getting two Ancient Arrows over the course of 90 seconds, which is a grueling 749 minutes for a maximum of 999. Again, not too efficient, but got some great news coming up for you next. I've done a lot of math, a lot of math at figuring out exactly what we're gonna be doing here to get all max arrows. And you're going to need, where's the number? Boop, 76,475 rupees, give or take. But that is the magic number. Now, in order to get 77,000 rupees, well, you can use the Trial of the Sword glitch to get all the diamonds after doing the 55 rush rooms, which takes about 36 seconds for the whole respawn, which means that you need 91 minutes to get all 77,000 rupees. Or, right on the Great Plateau, that ancient guardian that I made a video about on flipping him over, if you can flip him over and get him to drop cores, that's going to be your money. Now, depending on the items that are coming out of the Guardian, that's going to be how efficient and how well the game is going to be able to process exactly what's going on. So, say for example right here, you see how I have gears, I have shafts, and I have cores. My frame rate was horrible. I'm averaging like 6 frames per second, and that's going to make it about 20 to 25 minutes to farm a full 999 cores. However, as you see right here, I have springs, screws, and cores, with mostly screws and cores showing up, springs being the least common of the three, which is fantastic. Getting it in the perfect angle, you're going to get a constant flow of ancient cores that are coming out. Now, this isn't the exact footage I use for a full run of only ancient cores. However, doing the math, it takes a solid eight minutes to get a full 76 thousand rupees in order to get all the money we need to do what we're about to do and of course this is trial of the sword glitch mode only a requirement for this is also to make your way to Tarrytown and do the entire Tarrytown questline, which I'm sure you've done already if you're now trying to figure out how to farm so many arrows. Of course, sell off any materials that you have, especially your precious stones, your diamonds, your sapphires, your rubies, your topaz. Set your travel medallion down for one edge of the arrow table, and you're going to be buying five bundles of ten arrows each, of all shock, ice, fire, normal, and bomb arrows. The shock, ice, and fire arrows are all going to cost 700 rupees. The regular arrows are going to cost 175 rupees, and the bomb arrows are 10 times that at 1,750 rupees. So, uh, by the way, I did these numbers for a total of 950 arrows, not 999, because I don't want to waste any money. So for a total of 950 arrows of shock, ice, fire, regular, and bomb arrows, you're going to be spending a total of 76,475 rupees. And in order for you to efficiently get all of the arrows and respawn to the location is going to be a total of 16 minutes. Combine that with the 8 minutes that you use to farm all of those ancient cores 
hours and that's going to be a total of 24 minutes in order to get a full 999 arrows of all five types. Now, of course, just do the whole Ancient Guardian thing again, flip them over, and then get parts that you want to make your way to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab in order to get the Ancient Arrows, but I was mostly focusing on these five. It is worth mentioning that it is slightly cheaper to purchase Bomb Arrows in Gerudo Town, in which you're gonna buy three bundles of 20 Bomb Arrows at a cost of 600 per bundle, meaning a total of 1,800 rupees for the entire purchase, which comes to a total of 28,500 rupees compared to Terrytown's 33,250 rupees. Now you're going to be saving a little bit of money, however, in my opinion, the cost and time of going to two different locations, not worth it. So there you have it, boom, every single way to get arrows right now. Now of course with Trial of the Sword Glitch, you're probably going to find a chest of 10 elemental arrows somewhere. Yes, you could totally just respawn in that same one location and get those, but this is by far the most efficient method ever, ever created to get full maximum arrows in a very short amount of time. I'm personally proud of this one. So guys, if you love it, if you're gonna be doing this, drop a like, drop a comment. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Oh, by the way, leave a comment. Are you guys getting Mario Plus Rabbids? Cause it looks pretty awesome. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm gonna be giving you guys lots of helpful videos in the next following days and weeks. Till next time, Austin John out.